welcome to this segment for Daily Dose. This one's for your hamstrings. So I'm actually training again for another ultra, which has led my posterior chain to be extremely tight. So today we're gonna really focus on working on what's behind us that we often try to forget. Um, oh, and if you're wondering what this is on my face, I had a little bit of a mole removed, so I'm fine. Nothing going on there besides just a strange looking bandage. Go ahead and come into downward facing dog. Take some time here, pedaling your feet, shaking your head yes, shaking your head no. Great, and then when you're ready, inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Often when we're lifting our leg up, we start to open up through the hip, but since today we're really focusing on the hamstrings, I want you to only lift with the right leg, um, or the toes pointing straight down, so the lift is really initiating from your inner right thigh. And then exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee down. Straighten your right leg. Keep a micro bend in your right knee and dig your right heel down. Lengthen from, like lengthen your spine forward by reaching the crown of the head forward, hollow through your belly. And then exhale, walk your hands forward. So I want you to continue to dig your heel down. I'm lifting my toes off and even keeping the ball of the foot off the ground and that's gonna keep me in my hamstring attachment a lot more. And then I'm gonna inhale and walk it back. Same thing here, digging the heel down, pulling the right thigh back in space and really opening up here to the back of the leg. I'm feeling a lot of opening happening higher in the hamstring. And then exhale, walk it forward. And again, keeping the toes floating off. If you want to go a little bit deeper, digging the heel straight down. Again, inhale, walk it back. Finding that length both in the spine and in the leg by digging the heel down, pulling the right thigh straight back. Great. And then go ahead and step it forward. Take both hands the inside of your right uh, foot, pivot and turn, bending your left knee, straightening your right leg. So this time you're going into the groin and the hip as well on that left side. Try to get your torso so it's perpendicular to the ground, so even if you're up a little bit higher, perhaps you're here, or you can stay down a little bit more if you're feeling more flexible, reaching your hands forward like you're at, in a squat. And then again, coming back to the front of your mat, bending your left knee, straightening your right leg. So you can stay right here, right? We're just gonna hold this for a little bit longer or you can start to work towards a modified split. So you can see I'm not even in mine. I'm definitely feeling the opening happening here. Nice deep breathing. If you have blocks, you can use blocks. If you wanna lift up to your fist, you can lift up to your fist. That way you're not putting too much pressure on your wrist here. Great. And then go ahead and Step it all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to a plate pose. Exhale, chaturanga, hugging your elbows in as you lower. Inhale, open it up, upward facing your cobra, just staying here, pivoting a little bit here, side to side, opening up to your chest. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. So same thing here, you want to keep the left toes pointing straight down, having the lift come from your inner left thigh. Exhale, step it between your hands. Drop your back knee down, straighten your left leg. So again, bending in your left knee, digging your left heel down, finding length in the spine, pulling your left thigh straight back. And then walk it forward. And take it back. So again, I'm keeping my left ball of the foot floating off the ground here. So I'm really the whole time pushing my heel into the ground. And what that's doing is keeping my hamstring engaged as well as opening right through that attachment, walking it back again. And here we go, walk it forward. Take both hands the inside of your left foot, pivot and turn, bending your right knee, straightening your left leg. So you want your torso perpendicular to the ground so you can either come up right a little bit more or you can sink down reaching your arms forward. Flex your left toes back towards your head and you can use your right arm to push against your right knee if you're, feeling, if you're down in that deeper squat or if you're upright a little bit more, you're just staying upright. Walk it back to the front of your mat. Great. Drop your back knee down, straighten out. So again, this time you can stay right where you are. You can start to play with coming in towards your split here. You can lift up or press into your fist, digging your left heel down, opening up here. Nice deep breathing. 
Trying to find that opening. Keep pulling that left thigh back. And then step it all the way back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, breathe forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower, chaturanga, hugging your elbows in. Inhale, breathe up, upward or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, and again, you want to point those right toes down. So I immediately went into my, you know, open hip. So I just refix that. So right, right toes pointing straight down. Exhale, little lunge. From here, we're going to do the same thing, but just keeping our back knee off the ground. Inhale, walk your hands back, keeping that micro bend in your right knee, digging your right heel down, finding length in your spine. Exhale, walk back to your lunge. You can keep your toes floating off the ground. Inhale, walk it back. Exhale, walk it forward. Inhale, walk it back. Exhale, walk it forward. And then from here, plant the entire foot on the ground. Take your hands um, down by your front foot and go ahead and lift up standing splits, drawing your forehead into your shin. So I just noticed I did the same thing here. We want the left toes pointing straight down. So a lot of times we open up in that left hip, but we're going to again work the back of the leg a little bit more. So imagine a string on the inner left thigh and have that initiate the movement toward the ceiling. Great. And then bend your right knee and bring your torso and your left leg so it's parallel to the ground. Take your hands into a prayer position coming into a bent knee warrior three. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, push up. Full warrior three, reaching from the crown of the head all the way out through your left heel. Inhale, bring your left knee into your chest. Great, give it a nice big hug. And then from here, you can either stay holding on to your knee or you can grab hold of your left toe. Send your left leg out. So I'd rather you keep that micro bend in your left knee, keep your shoulder square and still feel the stretch in your hamstring and chest. But if you can extend all the way out by keeping your shoulder square and finding length in your hamstring, that's fine. And then from here, bring your knee back into your chest and send it back warrior one, nice and slow, reaching your arms alongside your ears. Take a moment here. Square your left hip towards the front of the room, draw your right hip back, open your arms alongside your ears, nice big opening in your chest and your heart, and then exhale, warrior two. Nice deep breathing, make sure your right knee is bent right over your right ankle. Inhale, straighten your front leg up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front leg up. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg. Reach back. Open up through your right side body. Use your left hand just as a placeholder. You're not pushing into your left leg. And then exhale, extended side angle. Bending your right knee. Taking your right form on top of your right thigh. Reaching your left arm over here. Rotate your torso toward the ceiling. Nice deep breathing. And then inhale, triangle pose. Straighten your right leg. Reach your left arm toward the ceiling. So you can have your right hand on the block, a knee, a shin, or the ankle. What I want you to really picture yourself here is between two panes of glass, so your torso is directly over your right thigh. And then coming back as you breathe out, extended side angle. This time perhaps go a little bit deeper. If you want to take your left arm behind your back, feel free. Maybe you want to take a bind, that's okay. But let your torso lift away from your thigh. Keep your right knee over your ankle. Really start to open up here through your chest and your shoulders. Take one more big breath in. Exhale your hands down. Drop your back knee down, straighten your right leg. Keep that micro bend in your knee, dig the heel down. So you can either stay right here or you can slide it forward. Again, coming back towards that split. So you'll big. You're going to notice here already a huge change between the first split of class and now. So nice deep breathing here. One more big breath in. And then exhale. Find your way back. Downward facing dog. There's never a pretty way to get there. At least not for me. Inhale, roll forward to a plank. 
Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, breathe up, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. So again, keeping your left outer hip pointing down, lifting from your left inner thigh. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, start to walk your hands back, dig your left heel into the ground, micro bend in that left knee, find length in your spine. Pull your left hip straight back. Exhale, walk it forward, keeping that heel pushing down. Inhale, walk it back. Exhale, take it forward. Last time right here. Inhale, walk it back. Exhale, walk it forward. This time, plant your foot down. Take your hands to, next to that front foot. Lift your back leg up, standing split. So again, keeping your right foot pointing straight down towards the ground, having the lift come from the right inner thigh. Nice deep breathing. Fantastic. And then bend your left knee and bring your torso and your right leg so it's parallel to the ground. Reach from the crown of the head to the heel. Lift from the inner right thigh. And then exhale, push up, warrior three. Continue to reach, drawing your belly in. And then inhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Give it a nice big hug. So you can stay right here, you can grab a strap, or you can grab hold of your big toe, extending your right leg out. So as you do so, you can keep that micro bend in your right knee and pull your right shoulder back. So you, all you need is that opening. I'd rather you see, rather see the knee bent then opening up through the chest like this, right? Keeping the shoulders square. Nice deep breathing. Take one more big breath out. Inhale, bend your knee back into your chest. And then exhale, extend it back into your warrior one. Stay here for a few breaths, sinking your left knee right over your left ankle, pressing through the outer edge of your right foot, bringing your right hip forward, reaching your fingertips up as you relax your shoulders away from your ears. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, open up wide, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten and reach up. Exhale, warrior two. One more. Inhale, straighten, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, reaching up and back, straightening your left leg. Reaching back, opening up through your left side body. And again, this right hand is just for a placeholder. You're not pushing into your back leg. Exhale, extended side angle. Bringing your left forearm on top of your left thigh. Reaching your right arm over your ear. Plug your left thigh back into your, straight back to the room. Rotate your chest toward the ceiling. Relax your right shoulder away from your ear. And then inhale, triangle pose. Straightening your left leg, taking your left hand to your knee, shin, ankle, or block as you gaze over your right fingertips. So same thing here, you want to keep your torso so it's directly over your left thigh. Take one more big breath in, and then exhale, extended side angle. This time you can go deeper, maybe planting your left hand to the inside of your left shin, reaching your arm over your ear, perhaps taking one hand, reaching it behind, perhaps taking the mind, grabbing hold of the fingertips, lifting your torso away from your thigh opening through your chest, continuing to sink your left knee right over your left ankle. Take one more big breath in. Exhale your hands down. Drop your back knee down. Straighten your left leg. So you're going to keep that micro bend in the left knee. Dig the heel down. You can stay right there or you can see how far you've progressed on this side. And just knowing that each side is a bit different. And again, you'll notice here how much further I am down on this side as well. It's just knowing that you're really opening up here through your hamstrings. Nice deep breathing. Continue to really try to draw that left hip straight back. Take one more big breath in. And then finding your way back. Down or facing dog. Inhale, breathe forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, breathe up, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then from here, drop down to your knees. Take your toes together. Sit back on your heels, child's pose. 
All right, guys, that was your hamstring, your posterior chain opening. Hope you enjoy. Please let me know what you think. Bye.